As we discussed in the first class, uh, AIX, uh, introduction to the AIX class, um, the hierarchical structure of the file system, everything starts at root. Um, this basically gives you uh, an overview how to move around in the file system, seeding to the CD, change directory to the different uh, location, the relative path com compared to complete path. Uh, also, in the first part, we also went through these commands really quickly. Um, uh, link is the same thing as creating a symbolic uh, shortcut in Windows. So let's let's take a look of that. Look look at that really quick. Okay, we are in my home directory, so I can I can say touch uh, file one. <clears throat> okay. Now, when I say touch file one, all it does, it creates a empty, you see the file is zero. It creates an empty file and with that name. Now let's create a link pointing to that file. So ln minus s. Now what I'm going to be pointing to will come first. So file one and what is going to be the name of the file that I want that to point to uh, let's say um, link underscore file one enter and you see we just created uh, a link file which is pointing to file one now this is called a uh, symbolic link now that means that, that this is a separate uh, file which points to this file. Each file has something called an inode. Inode is a number for each file. <clears throat> and a symbolic link has its own inode. A hard link uh, is uh, another type of link which points to that to the same location, the same file, but using the same inode. So it's like having it's like having uh, an inode with two different names. So if I delete, so if I delete one of the one of the file, either the file or the hard link, I can still access the data which that file points to. Now, a, some, a symbolic link. If I delete file one, um, then that's it. I can't access the file. Which is uh, which was contained in file one, but the hard link is uh, is the opposite. I have two I have two uh, sources to access the data. <clears throat> that's the that's the major difference between the two. And again, these are some basic um, uh, basic commands uh, used. Uh, pretty much every day by uh, by admins or users on the Unix system. Cat, typically it means concatenate. Like you, you can actually combine files together. Um, uh, but but we basically, we, uh, I use it uh, a lot for just, you know, displaying the content of a file. Okay, you see, I just, I catted uh, the file called Etsy slash password and it, it went through and it displayed the whole content of the file without without stopping <clears throat> and I can combine you know, it's actually used for concatenate but this is how I, I typically use it the head the head command it does the, the similar it's very something similar but it does the, the top uh, the top part of it So it's showing the top part of the file. So as you see with the head command, um, the head only showed uh, particular only the top part of the file, and it, it gave you a specific amount. Now with the head command, I, I can say minus dash five, and I can give the name of the file of the command, a name of the file, 
and, and it'll only give me the first five line. Uh, similarly, <clears throat> we also there's a there's a tail command, and as you can probably guess, the tail command gives you the bottom part of the file, and it only gives you. I think the default is ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so it gives you the last ten lines, and and of course you can say t tail minus uh, f five uh, etsy slash password. Okay, uh, tail actually comes in um, use typically uh, when you're monitoring uh, an activity, and when you when you are monitoring the activity. You want to continuously monitor it without uh, without updating. So, so how do you uh, how do you do that? <clears throat> Let me just make sure this font is big enough so it's actually visible. Okay. Um, so there's so there's there's an option called there's an option in there uh, for. Let's see where am I? For A and M, there should be a log over here. Looks like there is no log file over here since it's a new, new server installation. So that's why there is no log. Um, basically, uh, you would do uh, uh, tail minus f su log, for example. And that will, um, I don't have the permission to do that uh, since it's a restricted file. I would have to become a uh, user, a root user to do that. But uh, you get the point. <coughs> you would do uh, tail minus F. <coughs> Sula. <coughs> And you see how the file has stopped over here. So basically, it is monitoring this file. So when the file changes, it um, it would update your screen. So if you're monitoring, like an, uh, for example, HACMP cluster output file, you would have one screen where you're monitoring the output file and one screen where you're actually doing the work. So simultaneously, when you, as you you know execute the command on one screen, you would uh, use a tail minus uh, f command to monitor the, uh, the the log activity that's uh, that, that is taking place. So that's 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 a good place where uh, uh, tail minus f is is, is used. <clears throat> more more command is used for uh, many different reasons. Uh, one is um, the more command also has uh, multiple uses. Um, it can display a file. <clears throat> it could also um, be used as a buffer uh, to stop stop a command. Uh, for example, if you do a ps space minus ef, well, that that output of that command just scrolls off the screen. Well, <clears throat> you can use a ps minus ef command and do a pipe. Which uh, which uh, which takes the output and sends it to the more, and now it now it now this is the top of the output, okay? User ID, PID, PPID. This is the top of it, and you can hit enter or spacebar to uh, then slowly go down and uh, look you know see what you're looking for. <clears throat> uh, more can also be used to directly look at a file. If you remember the the cat command uh, would just display the whole file really quickly. Well, the more command shows you the, from the, from the top to all the, up to the screen. So it says you know 72% of the file has been viewed. So you can slowly hit the enter key and continue down and see the remaining of the file at at your leisure. <coughs> History command basically show uh, gives you the uh, all of the command that you have ran. Uh, it keeps track of everything. Uh, the history command, uh, the history uh, is kept in um, in your home directory. Uh, this is the file right over here. 
dot sh history all the uh, everything is in uh, everything is saved in this file so basically when you do the history command it uh, it runs this uh, it shows you the uh, the content of this file password command basically you know you can uh, you change your own password uh, if you're a super user if you do a password space username you can change the password of another user or set the password of another user um, like right now I am ID, uh, I am root I did the ID command that shows you that I am root I can do a password and I can uh, I can change uh, someone's password uh, let's see let's, let me just pick up a person from the from the file okay let's say pain so if I say password pain now it's going to ask me for a new password. So I'm going to give it a password. And it has to match. Okay, so there is no password policy configured on this server. Uh, when you get to uh, <clears throat> when you get to a co uh, company that you're working at, most likely there's going to be a password policy, minimum of eight characters, a number, character, uh, wildcard, so forth and so forth. Uh, so then you, uh, if 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 that criteria is not met, uh, it will it will fail, and un, uh, until you put in the correct the, the correct criteria, it will not it will not take it it will not take it. Moving on, um, basically, uh, file names uh, unlike Windows uh, spaces are not allowed any uh, special characters for file names are not allowed spaces tabs any of these special characters over here are not allowed in files or directory names here are uh, some basic uh, utilities uh, that we have in uh, AI in AIX and in every, every other uh, Unix you now the tar command compress and uncompress gzip or uh, g unzip uh, also, there's another command called uh, grip. <clears throat> we can just add over here. Also, very uh, very useful command. Uh, so let's let's go over these uh, basic commands really quickly. Tar command basically it uh, it will take the uh, the content of a directory and uh, and archive it. Uh, so I am in here now I can do a tar CVF uh, temp dot tar file and I give it what what directory that I want to tar okay now this just created another file called temp dot tar and everything that's in now temp is a directory temp dot tar is a file now I can transfer this file to another server and untar it and the complete directory structure that was set up in temp will be now over there so that's a good way to back up and transfer files if, if needed uh, compressing is very simple all you have to do is run the compress command and uh, name of the file give it and hit enter and it will take that file and compress it there are uh, several different type of com compressors out, out there this is the default one for um, AIX and if you do a file and then give the name and that tells you what type of uh, file it is. okay we will be stopping over here and continuing on to the remaining of this uh, course and part three thank you bye bye